what up YouTube it's your boy Mr. 21 I'm back again with another tutorial um, today what we're gonna be doing is cleaning up vocals inside of Pro Tools uh, there's a lot of ways of getting around doing it but um the way that I do it I find it to be quite easy and uh, if it's not easy to you then you know however you want to do it um alright first off I got one of my songs that I'm working on. It's called Ladies. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play just the, the beat for you so you guys can get a feel for what's going on here. I I have already completed the uh, the third verse, which is what we're working on. Um, but I had a buddy of mine call me. He was like, "Hey, how do you get your vocals uh, cleaned up and whatnot?" So I figured I'd post this video uh, just to give you a quick look at it. So first things first, I always work inside of grid mode, which is up here, um, right up there in this area so I, all, I usually always work in grid mode unless I'm slicing up a uh, sample or slicing up an audio um, so let me let you hear the audio by itself hey ladies where you at where you at hey ladies where you at where you at alright <clears throat> Now, because I don't want to uh, deal with chopping out breaths in my uh, in my audio, I go ahead and I cut everything, or I do everything in uh, single phrases when it comes to like uh, hype verses. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. So, for this particular part of the song, it's supposed to go, Hey ladies, where you at? Where you at? Hey ladies, where you at? Where you at? Hey ladies, where you at? Where you at? But because I didn't feel like recording it that way, and then I would have to come back, chop out all the breaths, what I do is I record it one time, and then I copy it, and I link it up, and so forth, all the way until it gets done. And that's also another reason why if you're singing along with the artist and he's repeating something and you get out of breath but he keeps going or she keeps going, uh, that's how they do that. So that way, um, you know, it sounds like the person has iron lungs but they really don't. They're just looping something over and over again. And I'll show you how to do that. Um, also, another thing you may have noticed is my recording was very low. A lot of people like to uh, combat this with some kind of compressor, or I'm sorry, not compressor, some kind of uh, amplifier, but you don't have to use an amplifier. Um, there's actually a thing called norm, uh, normalize. So what you do is you click on your uh, sample, your audio, and you come up here. Let me find it. Oh, it's underneath your audio suite. Alright. It's underneath your audio suite. And then you're going to come all the way down here to other. Once you get to other, you'll see it. It should be right under invert and right over reverse. And uh, you click normalize. And what it'll do is it'll bring up a little window like such. Alright. Um, all this is... It, don't even worry about the uh, percent sign here just worry about the the volume because this does have some volume to it I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it to negative 2 dBs okay and then you click process what this is gonna do as you can see it made my uh, my audio file a lot louder and I didn't have to use a compressor or anything like that okay so let me go ahead and play that for you now 
Hey ladies, where you at? Where you at? Hey ladies, where you at? Where you at? Alright, now you get everything that you want. But I hear some dead space in there, so I need to chop some of that dead space out. Because nobody wants dead space inside of their uh, vocals. It just doesn't sound good. It muddies it up. So, you put it in the slip mode so you can select just that portion. Alright. And then I like to zoom in on it, like so, and chop it out. Now, there is another way of doing this. Uh, sometimes it's not as accurate, but I'll show you anyway. Uh, let me go ahead and go back. Okay. So, you get your selector tool. Let me zoom out a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing. Alright, you get your selector tool. You come back to uh, to your audio, click on it, and then you're going to go you're gonna go to edit, and then you're gonna click on strip silence or control U. All right, that'll give you a window like this. Strip silence is just that; it strips the silence out of your audio track. So, let me move it, center it real quick. Alright, you have a uh, strip threshold, a min strip, uh, your region start pad, and your region end pad. Alright, so first thing you want to do is get your uh, threshold. And if you can see, right here, it's already started my threshold. It knows that this is nothing but silence, but it doesn't really give me anything in there so I'm gonna give that that much space and then I'm gonna start the pad see that's why I don't use this because it doesn't uh, it doesn't get in as far as I would like it to as far as um okay there we go but as you can see it kind of uh, doesn't get everywhere that you want it to be and then when you try and edit the start pads and whatnot it gives you a hard time at doing it that's why I don't use uh, strip silence but if you have like large spaces in between your vocals strip silence would probably work pretty good but if you uh, have a good eye and some patience, you can strip it yourself, save you a little bit of trouble, which is what I'm going to do. So, as you can see, there's nothing in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and strip that out because I don't need it. And then I'm going to scroll around to find some more. There's another uh, silence. And I don't need that. So, now that I've stripped the silence out, I usually leave a little tail. That's a little bit longer than I normally leave. I leave a little tail because uh, it get, it helps out with timing. Even though you're just going to... Uh, there's a little bit of silence in there. Even though <clears throat> you're going to consolidate this. And it's going to put its own silence in there. So that way... Uh, it sound it's one continuous track and it's not stopping so you don't get those uh, breaks in between your audio which I'll let you hear right now once I get okay that's a little too far zoomed out alright that's pretty good okay let me zoom out just a little bit and I'll play this again Now what you're gonna hear? Hey ladies, where you at? Where you at? Hey ladies, where you at? Where you at? All right. So as you can tell, there's no spaces in there anymore. Well, there's spaces, but they're not. They're not the same. So what you're gonna do? I go back to grid mode because when you get ready to chop this up and send it uh, to wherever, however you're gonna send it, you know, link it up.